What's up everybody? We're going to look today at reflashing back the stock Pro Action Replay firmware to a cart that was previously flashed with Pseudo Saturn. For those of you who have joined the lovely Saturn ODE scene and no longer have a need for such a cartridge, but you know, you'd like to have your uh, save backup management offered from your cart, and that's what we're going to do here today. So I've got this old Game Shark, really brings back the memories. The fat PCB that destroys your cartridge slot, I'm actually only using this once just for the purposes of this video. So I'm just going to power on the Saturn. I've got a mode installed in here, and we'll see that on this Game Shark right now, we've got a pseudo Saturn Kai. So let's just boot, boot into mode. And in the pseudo Saturn Kai firmware uh, zip archive that you would download, inside there's a, an image called uh, SDM, pseudo Saturn SDM. And that's what we want here today. So let me just scroll down under tools, oops. Oh, all games, there we go. I accidentally hit a trigger button, okay. I threw the flasher on here just for this video. Let me go scroll down here. So because it's a disc image, people have asked, can you just use Mode or, or you know, Ray or Phoebe to do this? And in the case of Ray or Phoebe, obviously it's gotta be in the right format for the Mode. You can just throw it on as it exists. Let's ignore this error message. Okay, and here is the flasher utility. So we'll get a menu once this boots. It's actually going to boot back to the original pseudo center. And here we go. Okay, save data manager. We can see down at the bottom, it's telling us to hit L or R to toggle menus. Um, so if we do this, I'm just going to hit L. Here we come to the firmware flasher. I'm going to hit this right here. So with this particular version, we've got all of these versions of PS Kai, PS Kai Lite, etc. But if I scroll down, hey, look at that. We've got all these versions of Action Replay Plus firmware 2.02, 2.01, um, different saves out of the box, different uh, cheat codes out of the box, or the actual Game Shark firmware, the exact same thing, <laughs> identical. Um, so let's just pick one here. Let's see. Let's just go with Game Shark on account of this is a Game Shark. And you know, those of you who've flashed a few of these cards before, you've seen this morning message. I don't recognize the chip. Are you sure you want to go ahead? I got that same error message when I flashed this uh, Game Shark cartridge originally. So yeah. I want to go ahead. Please try at my own risk. Press start. A, B, C to continue. Okay. Holding the controller in one hand and the camera in the other. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Reading from CD-ROM, obviously. Reading from the ODE, from my SD card. Okay, wants me to hit A, B, C combo again. Currently erasing what's on the AR card, or rather the Game Shark. It's getting rid of the PS Kai firmware.
go. And that part's done. Now it's flashing the original GameShark firmware onto the cartridge. And we are done. Press start to exit. So why don't we do a system reset? Ah, the Japanese Saturn boot intro. I gotta tell you. Oh look at that. Game shark. I gotta tell you I like it a lot more than the one we got here in the United States, here in North America. Anyway, as you can see, we're back on the original GameShark firmware, and we've got our memory manager back as well. All right, that is it. Good luck, and uh, game on, my friends.